The question I get asked most is what headphones are better? Are the 600s better than the 9500s? Are the 2000Xs better than the 600? Are the TRP50 Mark III's better than the Mad Dogs? Are the Pioneer SA 1000s better than the K612? And I'm here to talk today not about anything specifically, but everything specifically. Because asking me, or anyone for that matter, what headphone is better is an impossible query. If a headphone was designed for something and you bought it for something and another headphone was designed specifically in the same way, possibly you could overall say this headphone is better than this headphone. But headphones are not one piece. I can't judge this as all oh, this is obviously about this one lump thing. Headphones are made up of like 25 small individual aspects that I have to take into account when you ask me, is this better than this? Uh, here, here's, the, here's the one that's come up the most. We'll get, we'll get specific. Are the SEA 1000s better than the Philips 9500? There is no better. I've, I've done too many headphone things to believe in better, but I do believe in different. You know, you could own both of these headphones and love both of them equally because this headphone is better at certain things and this headphone is better at certain things. And that's true with every headphone. So when you see someone with 12 headphones, don't think they're crazy and you only need one. Well, you do only need one if you're real you know, simple. But the Philips SHP900 are sharp. They're sharp and accurate. And the SE1000s are not sharp. They're exceptionally good at low end and width. So those are two, those are completely different aspects. Now, if you want to, if you want to uh, ask me specifically what's more comfortable, let's make a list. All right. We're just going to make it right off the top of my head right now. What could you ask me? Comfort. Now comfort, there's overall comfort. There's, there's, Pads, pads comfort, there's headband comfort. There's clamp force. There's materials of the fucking pads. There's weight. You know, what's better, Porsche or Ferrari? Emma Watson or Emma Stone? Who has better, you, you gotta get specific. You gotta say who has better legs, Emma Watson or Emma Stone. It's Emma Watson, by the way, shut up. So let's see, I just wrote down comfort, pads, headband, clamp force, materials used, and weight. Maybe that's, you wanna get real crazy? Balance. Okay, so there's six things that contribute to the comfort of a headphone. So which one's better? Holy shit, that is such a very broad topic. Which one's more comfortable? Well, what bothers you usually? Is it the clamp force? I mean, all these things have to be taken into account. Now, how about accessories, all right? Features, call them features. I know headphones usually don't have features, but there are, how about removable pads? Now, remove pad, I'll just write. Removable pads are, yes, they're a benefit. I know the Philips really don't. I mean, you could yank them off and you get them off, but these come off, these come off, those come off, these come off, those come off. Those are all easy, to do. nice feature. And these don't. So that could be a feature. 
How about removable wire? Ream wire. So a removable wire. This doesn't have it. This does have it. This does have it. This does have it. This doesn't have it. This does, but it's proprietary. How about proprietary connections? Proprietary shit. Shit. I'm gonna write the word shit here. Because fuck. Are those the only three? Maybe I can count, you know, multiple wires in the box. Wires, if they do come off. A case, does it come with a case or a bag? So, which one has better features? Oh, I should also include uh, in this, or um, what the hell would you, articulation, I'm gonna add that. If you can't tell, I'm making this video for myself. Not really for you, but you guys can watch. Because if you guys want me to be more specific about headphones, then we're gonna work it out right here and now. So, under the comfort thing, pads, headband, clamp, material, weight, balance, and articulation. Because obviously these articulate. They twist just a little bit, but they twist that way. These rotate and can fold like that. These twist, but don't bend down. So this, that's another thing that goes into the comfort aspect of it. So comfort features, case, bag, wires, proprietary shit, removal wire, removal pads. All right, let's get the sound. I'll, I'll put a whole nother column here. I have a feeling this is the one that everyone really is concerned with right now. See, I don't know if I should put this under sound or features. You know what? Efficiency. That's the first thing I want to start with. Do you need an amp to push it? These Mark III's need an amp. Need it. The Mad Dogs are easier, but still need an amp. These don't need an amp. These don't need an amp. These don't seem to need an amp. These are, these are okay on a low power, and these are just farts. Mind farts. Power them. Is that a sound? Does that affect sound or is that affect is that a feature? I'm gonna put under features. Because if you could use them outdoors, that's that's a feature. So efficiency is a feature. Now back to sound. How do I begin? I'll tell you how I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna begin with sound stage. Sound stage, and then below that, imaging. Now just like the RBG, RGB spectrum on my monitor, I could also break those down into sound stage at frequencies and imaging at frequencies, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep it mildly similar, mildly simple. So you got sound stage and imaging. Now, we're gonna look at the frequency response, and I'm going to put it into three categories. Bass, mid-range, actually you could do sub-bass too. No. Simple. We're going to do bass. We're going to do mids. And we're going to do trebs. Trebs. New word. Write it down. I wrote it down. Now, bass has amount. So, bass, mids, trebs. And then you got a bullet point in here. Amount. And then, to keep it simple, quality of that. Because you could have a lot of bass and have it be just not any good. The HM9 brainwaves have a lot of bass, but it's just big, boomy, you know, bass. Mid range. That's a little bit harder. Actually, that's the most important. We'll skip that for now. Treble. I think a mount's gonna be pretty much, a mount's gonna work out for treble. And again, quality. And I'm really dumbing it down for myself here. And up here, siblance. If you don't know what siblance is, it's when the treble is good, but then all of a sudden your teeth just shoot out of your mouth because it just really just squeaks out that insane sound. So siblings, 
that's pretty much a have it or don't have it or can live with it sort of thing. Mount quality siblings. Okay, I can live with just those three. Mid range. Mid range is hard. No one ever talks about it. It's the most important part of the spectrum. It's where all vocals happen. I'm gonna, you know what? We're gonna do an amount again. Because you could have recessed mid range, like on the uh, DT 770s. DT 770s have recessed as fuck mid range. So they got all that bass and they got all that treble and the mid-range is sort of like meh, it's sort of there. And put quality back. What else should I add for the mid-range? I feel like there needs to be a third quantifiable thing. Alright, you know what? Bass, quality, amount, quality mount quality siblings because that's really what throws off a headphone is you could have a lot of you could have a lot of highs like these have a lot of highs but no siblings none of my headphones really have siblings maybe the Philips could be counted as having a lot of highs in a slight bit because they have that little bump at 6k so what else am I missing for sound I know people are gonna go nuts they're gonna talk about speed of the attack how fast it resets, you know, after, you, uh, you know, with complicated music plays. So imaging, soundstage. I don't want to put speed. I hate putting the word speed down. But it does actually happen. A big, lazy driver won't be able to cope with a lot of stuff going on. I should really have it up there. This is like its own little separate section. This sort of describes what you're listening to. And these are the bonus things. Soundstage, imaging. What else? Response. I'm going to put response. None of, my, none of these headphones are slow enough to really bother me. They all sound excellent. I wouldn't have them here. That's another thing. Okay, so we're back to like, what's the best headphone? Well, I don't know, depending on this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 23 point setup I've just laid out. On this 23 point setup, you can now take the Philips and you could take the 600s and go through. Check off which one is better in every category. But when you ask me which one's better, just arbitrarily whole headphone, if we're counting the number of points, which one counts more for you? You're, you're the one that decides how much of each one of these matters. And you come to me, a lot of people come to me and they're like, these are the, the, the four like genres I listen to, or these are my favorite bands. And I have to assume, because all I could do is assume, that because you listen to, you know, 80s hair metal, hair rock, whatever it is, because you listen to that, that bass is not a super important thing, because most of those, you know, genres don't have a lot of bass, but you need non sibilant highs and decent mids. So then I have to go, and in my brain, because this is what I'm fucking dealing with now, is trying to assist you guys in assisting me to give you recommendations because you ask me and I have like four go-to's that it's just like yeah I can't I, I can't possibly tell you what's better from the 80 series is the 80 series better than this well the base in the 9500s is more and the since there's none in here I can't even define quality it's it's good but the highs on this are equally as equally in the amount better quality here. Then we're gonna switch to comfort now. Well, which one do I think the person they said they wanted comfortable headphones with decent highs? Okay, well, you need to change the pads in this to get them to sound good. To get them to feel good. They sound good already. So this is a big confused video that you're all probably staring going, what the hell is he talking about? 
but I need this. I need, I need to get it out of the way. There is no such thing as a better headphone all around, unless you have specifically, the only series that I would talk to you about that are the AD line, which I will soon begin in the 1000s to review. So I have reviewed the 500s, the 700s, the 900s, the 1000. No, I'm sorry, I didn't get the 7s. I got the 5s, the 9s, the 1000s, and the 2000s. And since that is a linear progression of a same design, with the same design goals, and all attached to you know, half of these things are identical on all five of those headphones. So I can legitimately say the 2000s are better than the 1000s, which we'll find out, than the 900s, which I know, than the 700s, which we'll find out, than the 500s. That's why when I had the 650s versus the 600s, I was able to bat to look at this list in my brain and go, yeah, clamp, good, good, yeah. yeah I just don't, I didn't, I didn't like the 650s as much as I like the 600s. It's just that simple. I went through this list in my mind, Soundstage slight increasing, but imaging didn't didn't really go up. Base amount, qual all that stuff calculated in my brain. And I stuck with the 600s. So what am I asking you to do here? I don't know. Just consider when you're asking me what headphones are better to get either real specific about what you, or to understand that this is what can be different between a headphone. You know, people who think that they're going to end up with one headphone and it's going to be the best headphone they've ever had. There are so many other options. You can own 9500s and 1000s and switch between them. And there's enough different between this set and this set that you could be happy in both cases. I don't want this video to drag on. It's supposed to be a short video where I just go over better and how better doesn't really exist. All right? My Mr. Speaker's logo is peeling. Better, better can exist in any number of small categories, but overall it's much, much harder to say this is a better headphone. Obviously this is a better headphone. When I get to those 840s, that's a better headphone than the M50s. You know why? Because like 15 out of 23 categories are absolutely better. But when you're comparing different headphones with different designs, specifications, and different aims, it's way, way harder, way harder to do. Go away, Windows 10. I don't want to be, I want to be left behind. So that's, that's.